Hey guys, Todd from Juno Bait coming at you with today's Catch 365 Daily Advice Tip Random Info section. Part two of our Gotcha Hook Line Sinker section. Back to basics. Something very important here. Very common question that's very regularly asked is what size line do I need? You know, and a sub you know, question from that is, what size line do I need to catch dolphin? Or, what size line do I need to fish for snook from the Juno Beach Pier? And the answer to that is, I don't know, because it doesn't, those things aren't really exactly questions that can be answered with what pound line. The line has to match the tackle that you're fishing with. A light line spinning, or a light combo of spinning rod and reel that's designed to be fished with 8 to 12 pound test it needs 8 to 12 pound test to fish adequately and correctly. Whereas something that's big and designed for fishing heavy line, you can put 50, 60, 80 pound test on that. It's very possible to catch almost any size fish on light line, especially if the drag is set properly and the lines match to the tackle. You can catch a big fish on 10 pound test, on 20 pound test. A key factor in that is it's a lot harder to catch a small fish on really heavy line. So light line definitely has its advantages. Make sure that your line is matched to the rod and reel that you're using. And, you know, you talk to the guys at Tackle Shop, get an idea. You know, if you show them, you know, I've got this 4,000 size spinning reel and tell them where you want to go fishing because that is important. If you're fishing somewhere wide open, you know, that 4,000 size spinning reel and you need a long cast, you might want to go with lighter line, a 10 pound test, you know, light braid. If you're fishing at the Juno Beach Pier, you want the top end of your line, you know, 15, 20 pound braid that it can comfortably handle. And any good tackle shop, will be able to kind of get you pointed in that right direction. So the takeaway from it is very simple. Don't base the line on a targeted species or where you're fishing or an exact specific style of fishing. Those are important things, but base it more around the rod and reel that you'll be using that line on. Hopefully that clarifies some things. If you guys have any questions, shoot them out in the comments or you know, feel, free, feel free to come by the shop. We'll get you the rundown on what kind of line you need. Thanks for watching, guys.